there's a YouTube channel. It goes by the name of Mr. Snowflake. Yeah, he's keeping the misfits alive with those, that's for sure, for eternity. There is something so fundamental about fear in human life. It is not a coincidence that the first emotion that is mentioned in the Bible is fear. When Adam discovers he is naked, fear comes first and then shame later. And fear clearly has an evolutionary function. It emerged as a phenomenon because creatures that had the capacity for fear had a great likelihood of survival. The creatures who did not have that perished. And if we never overcame our fears, we wouldn't have left the trees. We might have overcome our collective fears of predators, but we replaced them with new ones, death and taxes. So fear can be highly functional. However, fear can become highly dysfunctional too, especially when we fear the wrong things and when we fear too much. People believe that their lives have become more dangerous now than ever before in history. In fact, our lives have never been safer. Long ago, you would get eaten by a bear just going to fetch water. Now we have Netflix. Still, having the instinct of being part of a close-knit tribe remains deep-rooted in our unconsciousness, the fear of the other. And fear of looking foolish or having to admit mistakes can make us act out of character and make us do things we later regret. Stop it! Stop it! Whoa, Jason, chill out. Come here, Jason, listen. We were now deep into Jason's Hindenburg era. Viewers had seen him out of shape before, but not like this. This was something else. But rather than realising that getting so fat wasn't good for him, Jason had convinced himself that this was all just part of his bodybuilding journey. He had convinced himself, like many of us do, that we aren't getting fat, we are simply bulking. Perhaps Jason was just scared to admit the truth, that in order to get in great shape, you must put the hard work in. And all of that hard work he had done with Adam only several months back seemed like it was all for nothing, because without a coach, Jason would revert back to type, lazy and undisciplined. If Jason got any bigger, there would have been serious concerns for his health. There was already some concern, but now he was getting close to really damaging his body. However, just as Jason seemed to be on the path to obesity, he met someone. No, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm doing very good, thank Deb. you. Jason, say hello to Deb. Hello, Deb. See their buddies he's together. They know each other. I'm assuming you're a competitor, just based on your physique. Yes. Where do you compete? I have competed everywhere. I had the Miss Colorado, Miss Texas, the Ronnie Coleman Classic, Southwest Texas, Northwest Texas, okay. um, Texas Championship, and third in the Junior National. <laughs> That's some resume. Yeah. Wow. And she uh, kicks our fanny here too. She makes sure that when she's doing. Are you a trainer thing, here? Or you just work out? No, no I no, just no. pretty much. Okay. No, she works out, but she shows she shows everyone the right way. Got it. She gets a According to Genovapedia, Debbie looks like a female Big Richard. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Debbie had an imposing physique. Andrew and Jason certainly seemed to be intimidated by her. Would you say your name once again? Forgive me. Debbie D'Andrea. Debbie what? D'Andrea. Debbie D'Andrea. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. Wow. That was a little uh, traumatizing. Anyway. 
Andrew thought it was all clear Jason and Debbie would be working together, probably because Jason made videos saying Debbie was his new coach. But it's Jason, so the truth is not quite right. Jason desperately wanted Debbie to be his new coach, but he was far too afraid to ask her himself. Ask her. Ask who? You gotta ask her. Debbie? Yeah, you gotta ask her. Debbie didn't mind last time. Well, ask Debbie if she wants to work out. Didn't you say she's your new coach? She's I thought you cleared this with in her. in January. Not now. Well, you didn't say that in your little video. You have to ask her. Just ask her. Go ahead and ask her. <laughs> Why don't you ask her? I'm afraid. Don't be What if she, like, power bombs me? <laughs> I'm scared. Come on, Jason. You can protect me. Jason, will you be my bodyguard? <laughs> I'll protect you. Dude, did you see her wrestling video? She'll, like... Put me in a Chris Bengalo choke lock and I'll be tapping out all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have. All right, well, you ask her, and uh, unfortunately, I can't run very fast. I'm wearing flip flops. <laughs> so, you better protect me if. Uh... Me and Debbie, you want to work out with me, Debbie? You look fantastic today. What are you training? Back? Back. Okay, good. Jason is it okay in. if we do a little bit of filming with Jason? Sure. Okay, I don't want to be invasive, so just thank you, thank I'm you. Jason overcame his fear and asked Debbie to train him, and Debbie graciously agreed. Yes, Jason had yet another new coat, but things would be different this time, he would tell us. However, not everyone was convinced Jason would follow through. I guarantee you she, you're going to drop her within a month. No. She's, she makes you work out. No, I'm not going to drop her. Okay. I'm determined. I got that. I have a tiger. I want it. I want it. You want it. I want it bad. And she could, she could show you. Because she looks better than you. And she's a woman. I know. Come over here. Come over here, goddammit. What are you doing? You're going to go do abs now? Yeah. So she told you you can do abs. Abs every day. Seven day muscle bar. Wow. And J Jason's mom, Jane, I believe, said the same thing. Yeah. It was hard for anyone at this point to believe this would be the time Jason got in shape. Jason had coach after coach and it hadn't happened yet. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. But who knows, maybe, just maybe, this could be the time Jason finally gets in shape. He did seem serious about it, at first. Jason. This is one of the problems you're going to experience, Debbie, is that when he's supposed to be training, he's going to be off someplace know, looking at his business phone. Business is business, but this well, is part of the re who Jane, is. where's your son? Where'd he go? We're supposed to be doing back, and now I can't find him. Yeah, and he said, I'll be right back, and he left. Maybe he went to the restroom. See, he's, he's got to listen to Well... Uh-oh. Andrew is here to do his thing with you. And this is bullshit, your, your, your attitude. You're in here doing something, you want to get serious? I'm getting serious. But she walked away. She was, she was... No, I had to get my camera. You walked away, but you do this. You go to the bathroom, you get your phone, you, you, you... Stop it! Stop it! Whoa, Jason, chill out. Come here. Jason, listen, 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 listen. Let me talk to him. I just had a little conversation off camera with Debbie. She told me she wants to train you. She said she's willing to devote her time to you, but only if you listen. are dedicated. Yeah. yeah. And like when you walked off just now, dude, she was pissed. Wow. Like hey, she. All she had to say was, "I'll be right back." I right. Have to, I have to go do something. Don't disappear before. and right. for five minutes. You should have told her, Andrew. I did. I well, I didn't know where you went. All right. Okay. All right. It's all good, Jason. It's all good. I know you got to do your YouTube thing, but when you're in training, you can't be answering the phone all the time. I wasn't answering the phone. I was just getting my camera out of the car to get the video started. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all. Okay. I was no bullshit with the cell phone. I put the cell phone in the car and got rid of it. Got I mean, your YouTube stuff's important, it's marketing. but it's, it's marketing. Marketing the page. It's all for publicity. All right. It's all right. Just, 
I know. I don't want to make her mad. Well, I, I don't want to make her mad either. I've seen your wrestling video. I don't want to make you mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had seen all kinds of emotion from Jason in the past, but we had never seen him react with such anger. Jason was giving in to his fear and letting it control him. Debbie, though, forgave Jason for disappearing, and thankfully the partnership was back on. And word of their partnership was quickly getting around the gym. The uh, the wrestler. Oh, that's our name, Debbie. Debbie, yes. He's a bodybuilder, wrestler. Oh yeah, she's yeah. A she dabbles in a few different uh, fields. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it at that, right? Anyway. Jason had allowed his fear to control him previously in the gym. Don't make me do pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have, Jason, pull-ups don't have to be your biggest weakness, and Victor casually brought up the idea of doing pull-ups. And, well, Jason in his usual defiant manner started saying how pull-ups are what, his weakness? Is that they what are, said? that's true. But they don't, they don't have to be. Turn a weakness into a strength, right? Wrong, maybe, maybe, maybe. Jason may have been afraid to do pull-ups, but Debbie would go on to make him do them anyway. She was not only making Jason work out harder than he had ever worked out before, but she was also helping him overcome his fears. So along with his body, Debbie was training Jason's mind. What is your opinion on pull-ups in pull a back routine? Pull-ups are an extremely good exercise, but they have to be done right, and you have to do them on a consistent basis. Yeah. It's one of his weaknesses because he doesn't do them, and I think because of that, he's a little bit scared to do them. I'm scared. But I've done them before. I've done them before. Okay, and you know you can get spotted on them. Yeah, I know. Just a little bit of help yeah. underneath the ankles. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm I think that would really help develop your back, seriously. I'm a, little, I'm a little scared. Don't be. Don't be. Do you want to try some? I'll spot you. I'll try some. Let's go. Let's do it. Yep, I got you. Yeah. Jason. Keep going, you got six more. Come on. Come on. You gotta make every body part your favorite body part. Yeah, you gotta yeah. make your worst body part your best. Yeah. In other words, you're like, I hate training legs, but I'm going to train them twice a week. Yeah, I'm going to train them twice a week. During the workout, Debbie explained that she is on tour once a month. So, for that one week she was away, Jason would have to look after himself. And even if Jason realized it or not, Andrew seemed to understand that Jason will never get a better opportunity than this to finally get in shape. Jason, once again, here you are presented with what I consider to be a golden opportunity to work with someone who is beyond knowledgeable, yep. just like PJ was, Aaron. The question is, are you going to be receptive? Yeah, I'm going to be receptive because she's not going to quit on me like the other ones quit on me. They gave up on me. Wait, 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 wait. It, that was, you're, you're putting the blame on your previous coaches. Don't, that's not fair. I know, but yeah. they dropped me for circumstance because one had a baby and the other one had and it was a whole bunch well, of circumstances. Let, let's, not, let's not assign it's blame. Pass, it's a pass. Pass is the pass. Let's not assign let's blame. be positive and go forward and go. Right. Say, this is what I'm going to do for the future so that I can do a show, so that I can come in ripped, ready, and able to compete. All of the old Colts were now in the past. The Colts Debbie era had now officially begun. She's really giving him some good advice, and uh, this is the beginning of another new era in saga. As if he sticks to it. And the whole Jason Genova story. So, Jason had found a coach that scared him into working out, but Debbie wasn't the only person that Jason feared. Wait, did you have shit on your fingers? No. You pig. Mr. Fucking, what's the new nickname, Knuckles Oh, uh, that would be Knuckles Deep, Knuckles Brad. Knuckles Deep. Why did you, you fall for some stupid shit like that again? Really? I Actually, I shouldn't ask you. I know how you fell for it. Huh? Old. What are they, old, oh, man. now it's old, yeah. It's old, bro. Now, you, now they're gonna have you shoving foreign objects up your asshole next, you dumb <laughs> shit. Hey, 
he's laughing. Yes, he will. Let's see if we can fit that clamp in your ass. <laughs> No, but you can stick no. it up your forehead and mail it out. He was about to say you could stick it up your ass, but then he's like, oh, wait, I do that. <laughs> yeah. No, you're the one that sticks things up your ass. Stick it up to Uganda. How did you fall for that, really? That was a troll. You fucking troll. Knuckles deep. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta take a picture of me fingering my asshole. Hang on. I'll send it to a complete stranger. Why are you so fucking gullible? You ready? <laughs> and we tried to help him a million times. We told him, Jason, don't fall for that stupid shit. Dude, look, I've said it already. If, it's unbelievable. Big, if big Richard can't Why do you keep get to him, then. Brad would make fun of Jason for pretty much anything. Nothing was off the table. The infamous sticking his fingers up his ass was giving Brad plenty of ammunition. Even Jason winning physique of the week was enough for Brad to work with. In fucking win. No, they did. They declared him the winner. No shit. There was such a backlash. Good stuff. Yeah. Did, they, did they mistaken it for Freak of the Week? <laughs> freak of the Week? <laughs> now here's this week's official Top 5 Freaks. And at number 5 we have the lyrical genius himself, Tyree Sneed. But yes, people, Charlie Z is a gay fish. Sorry to let you know. Back in the charts this week we have the greatest of all times, Charlie Zelenoff. Who would win? Mira Shannon Briggs. You're the one. Yeah, that guy's a clown, man. They're talking all this shit. He threatened to break my jaw. Yeah, sure, man. Hey, God gave me the power. I believe in Jesus. I'm a true Christian. That's it. Best boxer in the world. Charlie's on it, man. Dropping two places down to number three, it's Mr. Non-Negotiable himself, Jason Blaha. Now, people will say, Jason, you, you can't compare Mark to Hitler. That's, that's totally wrong. Mark is part Jewish. Yeah, well, so is Hitler. And at number two, it's the human garbage bag, Jimmy Bunker. I was at school, I was at school, and I uh, realized I was naked, and then all my teeth fell out. And my dead nana was there, and I was in a field. Kevin Costner, Field of Dreams. <laughs> God. And with a record-breaking tenth time as the number one freak of the week, it's Janoi Chris for himself. It's Jason Janova. Who the fuck is Dolan Duck? He pretends to be a duck, he's not. Jason knew if he stopped doing stupid things, then Brad would have nothing to use against him. But that's easier said than done. Perhaps another way Jason could shut Brad up was showing him just how serious he was about the gym, and that he was determined this time to get it right with Debbie. Just come here. Let, let's, I'm gonna get it. let's be realistic here. Okay, here's the deal. If you get this one time clean on your own, I will go to the ATM with you right now and I will give you $50. If Jason can do that one time clean without, without Brad touching it, $50 cash. Brad, will you double that to 100? You'll chip in 50? For what now? If he can do that one time clean, we'll both give him 50 bucks. You in? And if you don't get it, oh boy. You have to, you have to stop putting your fingers up your ass. Yes. All right, Jason, $100 cash if you get this one time. Boom, boom, ba -dum. boom. Didn't get it. But all I had a good attempt. It's on your chest again. It's a good attempt. All right, better to have tried and failed than to have not tried at all. Shit, for $100, I'll try that. And then you can rush me to the hospital. I didn't go to when the I hospital. crush my that's sternum. How, that's how fucking strong I am. I didn't go to the hospital. Jason didn't manage to lift it, but at least he was willing to give it a go. People don't mind if you fail just as long as you give it your all. And this is something Jason has failed to do so many times in the past. So even though he didn't lift the weight, he was getting the public on his side by at least trying but any good feeling from the public quickly evaporated. The, the Iron Negotiator is, is, is in full effect this morning. Can I have 10 bucks for gas? <laughs> Brad, he's saying that because he attempted it, I should give him $10 for gas. Instead of 50. I think that's fair. $10 that's, for Oh, me. do you think it's fair? Yeah. Oh, yeah well, fair. Let, me give you my, let me give you my counter proposal, Jason. Stop eating your shirt. Here's what please. I think is fair. What? Considering that I have given you money for gas, 
in the past, probably about I thought you were, I thought you were uh, eight or so times. I how, you were doing well for yourself. All of a sudden, you need for your. How about you give me gas, money right? for gas? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I that's... just needed to travel here because I got to travel here later. That's why. That's all. That's the reason why I asked. He's fucking serious. This. You're serious, aren't serious. you? So what? I mean, Why it's just you siphon people's gas out of their. That's <laughs> right. Spend ten dollars. Spend the ten dollars on a siphon at Home Depot. Jason, the answer to your question, after giving it giving it an awful lot of consideration, is no. I am not giving you ten dollars for gas. Wow. You had your chance. You could have gotten a hundred dollars if you were inclined to press that. Next time, well, next time you work out, we'll come up with another deal. Oh my god, he's actually pissed off now that you're not going to give him 10 bucks. Oh no, he genuinely is. No, I know. That's why he's walking away. He, he feels like he's entitled to $10 of gas. It was unclear why Jason was so desperate for money. After all, he was going to become a millionaire with his new job at the Palm Beach Post. Oh. He's got, he's got six jobs and he can't afford to put fucking gas. Actually, he quit the uh, Palm Beach Post job. Oh right, never mind. Jason, I am the deal maker. Ask your, I, new coach, your new coach will give you ten bucks. She yeah, might. or something else. Yeah, for three oh, how about three ten? You give me three ten pinch incline. Ten bucks for three ten. You won't get three ten. You, you, you just failed on three fifteen. Next time. <laughs> You're fucking unbelievable. Okay. Jason did seem to be genuinely motivated with his link up with Debbie. He was taking the gym seriously and he was trying to push himself with the weights. He was so motivated this time that he wanted a before and after photo because he was convinced he would be able to transform his body. But getting someone to take the picture was proving difficult. You can't take hide, dude. I'm everywhere, man. You, can't hide. Hide. you want more pictures? Can we take a picture? Uh, will I what? Will I take pictures of you? I yes, I will. First. How many pictures? This one, this is the transformation pit, 16 weeks, I want to say Why that. don't you take a transformation no, picture no, in a month? No, you do before and after. Yeah, but not every fucking day, five I'm times a day. I'm just doing once, because I lost Jason. a little weight. That's Jason's I lost a little, you, I lost a little weight. You lost what, a few ounces? I lost like six pounds, seven pounds, even Debbie said I lost a lot of weight. I lost a little weight. Let's just take this picture really quick. No more, no, more no, more we'll take the picture when I feel like taking the picture, Jason. No more gear? What? No more gear. Be quiet, don't talk about it. <laughs> you please take a picture? No, I'll, no, we're gonna work out. Why don't you fucking start working out? Don't worry about taking pictures. Yeah, come on, man. Train. You're worried more about quote unquote transformation pictures. Lose some weight and get cut up. Are you chasing? Are you serious? You're gonna walk around a gym. Saul, just smack him for me. Disrespecting the emperor like that. He just. He just snuffed you. Did you see? He just came up on you and went like that. No, I did it. <laughs> oh, you did it to him? We'll do it harder. Now he's, look, he's going to walk around the whole gym looking for someone to take a quote-unquote transformation picture of him when he looks exactly the same as he did. Why he just yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. He just dropped some random. Alex. Who is that? Alex. Who? Alex. See, I don't know any of these people. Yeah. So it's, about, it's a little bit later in the day. I met him. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, Jason. You got Go. Run, run the other way. <laughs> don't do it. If you do it once, you're done. Stay on. Come on, bro. It's one transformation picture. It's sickening. One sickening transformation picture. So, Jason feared Debbie and he feared Brad. But the one person he showed no fear of was arguably the scariest of them all, Big Lenny. Lenny was deep into his prep for an upcoming bodybuilding competition. He was looking so different to the Lenny of even just a few months ago that it was hard for people to even recognize him. Oh, there's Black Fucking Lenny. Yeah, Bla I didn't realize you Black didn't, Fucking yeah, Lenny was here. I thought Udonis Haslam was on the treadmill, but it's actually Lenny. Black Fucking Lenny. Well, he's got the bald Where head, so. Lenny might not be in the mood to talk. Lenny's not very friendly when he's no, cutting. In the, in the morning, no. In the morning when Lenny's cutting, yeah, you gotta leave Lenny alone, otherwise you're gonna get uh, suplexed. Ah, yeah. eh, fuck it, I'll, I'll go mess with him a little bit. Lenny may have looked like something out of a 1950s B movie, but underneath that scary exterior was an extremely friendly guy. 
Well, most of the time, anyway. The guy in the no. seated pulley row. Uh -oh. He's really ripped and all that. Yeah, I see that. Actually, on Christmas Day two years ago, he was on the squat rack, or he actually had his water bottle in front of it. You know, and I had the squat, because hours were short in here. Uh-huh. And uh, I kicked it out of the way. I proceeded to do my warm-up sets. He comes up to me, he says, well, oh, I was using that. I said, I didn't see it. He's like, oh, didn't you see my water bottle? I said, the one over there? And he says, something about your root or something. I said, you want to go outside? I said, I tell you what, you hit me three times. I said, you want to fight for this squat rack? <laughs> like men? Then he started uh, condescending, which is typical, but I bet the saying goes, don't demand what you can't take by force. That's what it should be. You should be able to have to fight for everything, not to whine and cry. Oh, it's not fair. I need the government to take care of me. <laughs> Jason's in the back laughing. <laughs> Jason loves it when Lenny gets all... I need to go see my psychiatrist and my doctors. Oh, my, <laughs> and my preachers. I'm going to go to counseling. Am I missing a Lenny rant? You're missing a Lenny rant, Brad. Lenny had dropped a lot of fat and was looking the best we had seen him since appearing in Andrew's videos. Of course, he would need to be in his best shape ever if he stood a chance of winning the competition. And I can guarantee you one thing that'll happen at that show, and you will see it. I'm gonna take the guts of my competitors and use it to grease the tread of my bicycle tires. And that's a fact. I'll be there to film it, Lenny, if I can. Saturday night, right? Right. All right. What's up, Lenny? Thanks for coming, Andrew. Anytime, brother. Well, I was actually puking. I don't want to tell everyone out there, don't carve up with simple sugars, because I was puking my guts out. That's why I came a little late. I missed the competitors meeting. But... There's some good guys in my weight class, so very good actually. But 90% of the people here are either bodybuilders or people in the fitness industry. Even the women are twice my fucking size. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought Debbie. What? <laughs> fit in. Well, you got a good turnout. You got a good crowd here tonight. Yeah. You got the balconies full. Yeah. Just waiting for everything to get started here. This is so sick. I'm about to be introduced to Lenny's mother and sister. Hello. I've very, known him about 15 years. Long time, Lenny. Very nice to meet you. Nice We're being filmed now, so Bob, how are, say hi to the How are you? Nice to meet you. You here to root on Lenny? No, I got to root. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Yeah, sometimes stupid. I ask stupid questions. Yes, right. Well, So you made it down. Good. I did. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Film this Ford, guy. do you have anything to say for the viewers? Anything to pump me up? <laughs> are you going to put him in muscle and fitness? <laughs> I don't have those kind of connections, at least not yet. <laughs> Where are you going now? Backstage? Yeah, I better get backstage and All right, brother. pump up and get in the right frame of mind. Wreak some havoc out there, boy. We snack on danger, we dine on death. <laughs> Lenny, we'll see you on that big stage right over there, my man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in that far corner filming you. Be on a look for be on a lookout for me, okay? <laughs> Alright, moving into our heavyweight division. Please welcome to the stage, competitor 178, Lenny Person, trains at a world gym in Delray. Lenny sadly may not have won the competition, but there was an even bigger prize he was after that night. 
Well, Mine is the suntan. Your skin is, <laughs> your skin is so soft. It's oh, well, thank you. It is. It has a couple different side effects. It burns fat and it causes erectile increase. Oh, erectile increase. That's why they were working on an erectile dysfunction drug and they found that the test subjects were in tan. So you get dark and walk around with a heart on, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's what we call uh, tall, dark, and handsome. Wow. He, is, he is six foot four. Huh? Those boots are badass. So are the heels and the pedicure. What's going through your mind when you look at those, Lenny? Or do I not want to know? Pain. Hey. Alright, honey. Hi. We're gonna go home. Hey. But one final thing. It's like, you wanna go in the parking lot and jump up and down on the heels and I'm the Lenny likes pain. No! Lenny I would not do that. No. no. It just stop me. No. You ever do it before? No. 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 I think you can find a new version. I think you may like it. <laughs> to have a man squeal torture. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. I'm just, I take no responsibility for anything that comes out of Lenny's mouth. We've done it before. <laughs> what do you mean, we? What do you mean, we? Who's, the, who's this we? I love that laugh. Sure. Did you think you were to come here tonight and have a man ask you to stomp on him with your heels? No. You just thought you were to come, watch but a if show. If the guy wore to, he would look like this. Do you think if Lenny wanted to find someone to do that for him, he can find that person here? I already found him. Here? Yeah. I already found him. There's only one now. There's only one. Oh, well, sure. then Lenny's got eyes on you. You're done. <laughs> it's a or nothing. Jesus. Just, they, they were handing out trophies, you know. Really? Yeah, the, the, the one with the skirt on and the crazy boots. She's an IFBB pro. I don't remember her name. They announced her as IFBB pro. I, I just, I don't recall what her name is. But you know what I like her to do with that trophy? <laughs> Stick it in both hands of me. Jesus Christ. I'm just having these urges. I don't know why. As of after the contest, I'm letting it all loose. Yeah, it's time for you to head to Swinton Avenue. That's what it's time for you to do, Lenny. Swinton Actually, Fun Dixie. Dixie Highway, I meant. Yeah, well, Swinton turns into Dixie in Delray. Why, so. do you want to real quick? Can you get time? Uh, I work tomorrow morning, thank God. So <laughs> I'm going to bail out on you on that one, Lenny. Maybe another night. Standing in front of so many people only wearing posing trunks would be a scary experience for most of us, but not Lenny. Lenny loves a challenge, and most people would feel nervous going up to a woman and asking them out, never mind asking them to stamp on them in the car park. Lenny may have been the scariest of the misfits, but Lenny would never let fear defeat him. After Lenny's competition, Maniacs had hoped it wouldn't be long before Debbie got Jason in good enough shape to finally compete himself. However, Brad's prediction about Jason and Debbie would come true. Sort of. I guarantee you she, you're going to drop her within a month. No. She's, she makes you work out. Okay, so Jason didn't fire Debbie, but she was no longer in the picture. She had left of her own accord. Sadly, like the rest, Debbie had quit as Jason's coth. Not realizing what she was getting herself into, she was harassed by trolls online and wanted no part of that world. It's a shame Debbie had left so soon because she seemed to be exactly what Jason needed, an authority figure he would be scared into listening to. Without a coach though, it seemed like Jason would go straight back to Hindenburg mode part two. But it wouldn't be long before an old coach would show up and bravely try and steer the ship through all that piss.